don't know what it's called actually. Why is this so hard? <laughs> Today I'm here with a video all about the series that I need to finish ASAP. I have a lot of series on my shelves where I have like the first three books and I've read them but then I don't have like the fourth book so I can't continue on with the series until I get them so I chose ones that I actually have the next book in the series too. So I have a total of six that I'm going to talk about. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first series that I have is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I don't actually know what this series is called. I want to say it's the City of Sin series, but I actually don't know if that's accurate, but we're going to go with that. This is the first book, Ace of Shades. The second book is King of Fools, which I actually am like in the middle of reading right now, more than halfway through, obsessed with it, loving it so much. This book was one of my favorite books when I read it last year and I have been waiting for the second book which was recently released and I've just been taking my sweet ass time reading it because I don't want it to end but basically it's about this girl named N whose mother goes missing and she goes on this like huge adventure to try to find her mom and she meets a boy named Levi who is a street lord and con artist and she decides that she is going to pair up with him to try to find her mom but it is so addictive, so good. Highly recommend if you guys have not checked out this series, you should. I'm really excited to pick up the next book and actually finish it but the third book Amanda just finished writing so it's off to the editor and I'm just just really excited for when it comes out because apparently it's gonna be hella gay and I'm here for that. The next series I have I also do not know what it's actually called so I'm just gonna call it by the title of the first book but it is a Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. The second book is The Empress which is actually sitting in my book outlet box over there because I haven't unpacked it because I have no room on my shelves because we have no self-control on this channel and just keep buying books. This book follows a Diabolic named Nemesis whose sole purpose is to protect the heir to the Galactic Senate named Sidonia. Sidonia ends up being called to the imperial courts by a power-hungry emperor and is told that she is going to be held hostage. So Sidonia's father decides that the only way to protect Sidonia is to have Nemesis go in her place and pretend to be her. So that's what they end up doing and it's basically the story of Nemesis trying to act as if she's a human even though she is not and a rebellion starts and it's just so underrated. Like I liked it so much more than I thought I would. I definitely know that this book has a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people really liked it. A lot of people really didn't like it. I fall on the I really liked it spectrum so I definitely recommend you check this one out if you haven't already but I absolutely love Nemesis. She is so badass and just like such a great character and the ending is such a cliffhanger and I don't know why I have not picked up the second book yet but here we are. The next series that I have is I think actually called the title of the book but it's Graceling by Christian Kishore and this is another book that I think is highly underrated. This book follows a girl named Katza who lives in a world where graces exist. These are people who are born with special abilities and her ability is the ability to kill. She really is not a fan of this grace and so she tries to not use it as much as possible. She lives under the command of her uncle who is the king and he basically uses her to torture and hurt whoever displeases him. She doesn't want to be a part of this so she actually starts a rebellion and on one of her missions she meets Prince Poe who has the grace of combat skills and it basically follows Katza and Poe becoming closer and them starting this rebellion against the king and like I said, very underrated. The second book is Fire, the third book is Bitter Blue. I own both of them. I just have not picked them up because I suck, but I really want to because I loved this one so much. The next book that I have, very underrated again, I actually just finished it yesterday at the time that I am filming this video, but it is The Program by Suzanne Young. And the second book is The Treatment, which I own, and I also own the third book, which is The Remedy. Do not own the adjustment or whatever the fifth book is that I cannot remember right now, but this basically follows a girl named Sloan who lives in a world where suicide has become an epidemic and the government created the program. The program basically takes people who are under 18 and puts them into this six-week 
program that is supposed to cure the depression and make you non-suicidal, but little do they know that the program actually erases all your memories. So it's basically Sloane trying to avoid being taken and then when she is taken, her trying to fight this program and it's just really underrated. I have discovered a new favorite couple of all time, Sloane and James. They are just so cute and I love them so much and I'm really excited to pick up the second book. It's another one that left off in a huge cliffhanger and I need to know what the heck happens. The next one that I have is another one that leaves off in a huge cliffhanger and I've been waiting so long for the arc of the second book to come out, which Raincoast Books sent me, so I'm really excited to finally pick it up, but it is Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer. The second book is Only Ashes Remain, and I have a copy of it, and I'm so excited about it, but this basically follows Nita, who works for her mother on the black market selling the body parts of magical creatures. Her mother ends up bringing her a body. Usually they are dead, but this boy is alive, and she starts telling her that she needs to dissect him, cut him up, send off his body parts, and Nita is not a fan of this idea, so she ends up letting the boy go, and this triggers a whole bunch of events that ends up her being the next thing to be sold on the black market, and it's basically the story of her trying to escape the black market, and it's just like so good. The concept is so interesting, like supernatural beings being sold on the black market, like what? It's pretty cool, and I'm really excited to read the next book because it has one of my favorite characters. It's advertised as Dexter meets the Savage Song, which highly agree with that. I just thought it was really good, especially for a debut novel. Like, it did not feel like a debut novel. So I'm really excited to pick up the next book so I can figure out what the heck is going to happen next with that stinking cliffhanger. And then the next series, my final series, I can actually add on to my list of series I want to finish because I actually started it. It is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I read the first book, you guys. This has been on my list of series I want to start for like three years now, so I can officially say that I have started it. I'm very excited about that. I feel like I don't need to give a synopsis of this because like it's Throne of Glass. Everyone knows what Throne of Glass is about, but, but basically if you don't know, Selena Saradothian is the world's greatest assassin. She ends up being caught and sent to prison. Then the son of the king, Prince Dorian, comes and he's like, hey, fight in my father's tournament to become his assassin and then you'll be free after a couple years of servitude. She agrees and that begins the whole story of the throne of glass. Not gonna lie, it was a bit slow at the beginning, but I became very invested in the story, the characters. I want to know who Selena ends up choosing as her little lover, either Kale or Prince Dorian. I think I'm team Dorian, but honestly, it could flip-flop. I like Kale too, so I'm actually really excited to see who I end up picking. I thought it was a pretty good first book out of a million in the series. I own the first Five, and then Tower of Dawn, but I don't own Kingdom of Ashes or whatever it's called. I think it's Kingdom of Ashes. I'm gonna go with it's Kingdom of Ashes, but that's the only one in the series I don't own, so it's being included on this list. Alright guys, so that was the series I want to finish where I actually own the next book in the series because if we did it, just series I want to finish, this video would be a thousand minutes long. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these series, if you completed them, what did you think of them, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.